What's up guys, uh, Breeze here with Tech on News, and today we're going to be showing you guys how to install Remote Joy Lite on your PC, Windows 7, Windows Vista, X64, X86, 32-bit, 64-bit, whatever, um, or Windows XP, but there'll be an extra step for Vista and Windows 7, I'll show you that in a second. Um, some reasons you might want to install Remote Joy, record the screen of your PSP or just play it on a larger display, like your computer monitor. Um, or whatever, whatever reason you may have. So first off, you're going to want to go to this website right here. I'll have a link in the description and download this RemoteJoyLite.rar. Um, and once you've downloaded that, um, you got it in a file like that. Just extract it with uh, WinRAR or whatever program you want, um, and you'll have this. So first off, open the folders and everything. Go to SE Plugins, and then plug in your PSP once it's into uh, USB mode. Once you put your PSP in USB mode, just go ahead and plug it in and open to view files. Um, and then go to the SE plugins folder in the root of your memory stick. And it should look a little bit like this remote joy thing. Um, if you already have uh, some plugins installed on your PSP, which I do, you can see, um, then you're not going to want to just highlight everything and copy it over. Um, if you don't, then you can just do exactly that just drag and drop. But since I do, I'm just going to want to open up the VSH uh, text file right here and open up this one and just copy the contents of it uh, to the other one. So you can go ahead and do that. Um, do that for all of these folders. And then copy this into the SE plugins folder uh, on your memory. Go ahead and restart your computer. Um, and as you're booting, just go ahead and click F8 a few times until you get into the um, boot menu for Windows Vista and Windows 7. And then scroll down and choose... Um, enable unsigned drivers, I think that's what it is. It's whatever has to do with drivers, it's the only one. I think it's the very last option also. And just click enter on that, and then when you boot, it will enable you to install drivers that have not been signed by Microsoft. Um, and don't worry about that, because it'll only happen like every time you select it, so if you reboot, then it'll be back to normal. But your drivers should still be working. Um, and then once you have that, um, once you have that done, go ahead and exit out of USB mode, and your computer um, might start trying to install a driver. It may not. Um, mine already tried to, so it's not going to try again. But just wait for that to do whatever, because it's going to fail anyways. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is go here and search device. If you're on XP, just go to your device manager. I forget how to do that. I think it's in the control panel. But get to your device manager somehow, and you should see this in other devices. It'll probably already be um, expanded. Just right click on PSP Type B and do Update Driver Software. And instead of searching automatically, do Browse My Computer for Driver Software. And then go ahead and browse uh, to your Remote Joy folder that you downloaded. Go in there, go to Drivers, and then choose USB Driver according to your operating system. I have 64 bit, so I'll choose that. Um, this is 32. If you don't know what uh, version you have, if, and you're in Vista or Windows 7, just go to Computer and System Properties. I think that's only Windows 7. Whatever. Get to uh, your system page, however you know how, and it'll tell you right here. See, I have a, I have a 64-bit operating system. So go ahead and close out of that and choose your corresponding folder. Press OK and Next. And it's going to ask you to verify your publisher of your device driver software just click install install this driver software anyways and wait for it to go it'll probably take a few minutes okay now it says windows has successfully updated your driver software so you should be good to go right now you can just close out of all that and then go back to this remote joy folder still your PSP should still be plugged in remote joy light GUI and this remote joy light dot or underscore en English, whatever. And then here's your PSP screen. So as you can see, I can move it around. Pretty cool. Everything's working. You can even um, do some settings if you right click. You can have these settings. You can do PSP capture, enable AVI capture, stuff like that. Um, you can use your keyboard to control your PSP. You can set all that up if you just right click on the screen. And uh, I like to just go ahead and uh, keep aspect ratio do that. I like to go ahead and save that. And then I like to kind of stretch it up, make it the screen a little bit bigger. That way it doesn't get all distorted because I kept aspect ratio. And uh, so yeah, now it should now it should be working for you guys. Any questions, just leave me a comment and uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks guys.